Hey everybody, I'm Aaron. And I'm Ricky. And today we're at the Orange County Swap Meet, and today we're going to be looking for some Nintendo games, some Super Nintendo games, some GameCube games, anything Nintendo related. Wish us luck today on our first episode of The NES Pursuit. The NES Pursuit! Do you know any of these games? Check out some 64 games. Got it. Mario Sunshine, dude. How much for the Mario Sunshine? 10? Dude, I would get this. You wanna get it? Let me see that. How much was it? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know the person who that's my wife. Huh? That's my wife. Oh, that's your wife? Hey, did you ever find the Super Nintendo game? No, no, yes, man. I don't know. My boy put in stuff today. I don't know. Tell him he's grounded. How much is this uh, NES Advantage controller? Ten bucks. Ten bucks? Yeah. Mm. How much for the blue Nintendo 64? This? This one. 35. 35. How about yeah. the regular? Uh, 30. Mm, 35. What game is that, Ricky? Our best find of the day. Kate, Mary Kate and Ashley, Magical Mystery Mall. <laughs> wow. Josh, I have a friend that wanted this. Looks like it works, though. How much is this? The Game Boy? 15. 15. What do you got? Uh, F Zero GX. Yeah, there's no cases, but it's two for five. That's good. Do get me 1080. Pull that one out. Slightly scratch. I don't know if it'll play. Oh, maybe not. I don't think she get it. Hard, fantastic. I'm gonna get Soul Calibur two. That's for sure. I got that, it's fun. Don't tell me you have it. My bad. Dude, another Star Fox Adventures? It's the, it's the one. Uh oh. It'll play. I don't know about Splinter Cell. Yeah, I know, huh? What about if I get three games? I could do that. No, no, they had a hall case for you. So weird. I can take this case for one of them. Is this a really Ricky's back. I don't think he could resist. Oh, what the heck? Yeah, cool. What'd you get, Ricky? Castlevania and Pac Man for the advance. It is. So this is advanced. Dude, this might be Neo Geo Pocket. Oh. Thanks, buddy. Thanks, man. You're welcome. I don't even know if it has all the connections. Start digging. Mm -hmm. 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 Mm -
Come on, stand back and give it a harder punch. Ready? Dude, I gotta knock this thing Just off. do it. Dude, Dude don't I'm be scared. I don't wanna knock that thing over. Don't be scared. He wants a hundred bucks for it. He'll charge me a hundred bucks. A hundred bucks for that thing? You should have punched him. It's in your hand. Dude, I four score. Nice. You getting it? Yeah, dude, I don't have it. How much for this one? Sixty bucks for Mario All Star. What you got? How much? Thirty-five. I need a new original NES. Normally I see like 20 every day and today I've not seen one. Did you ever get Tetris Ricky? Are you serious? Did you ever get it? Nicole would love to. Nintendo games? Four. Four, that's a funny game. How? Super so Wing Commander, Tetris Attack, uh, Little Samson, Snow Brothers. Shut up. This game's City for 10. City for 10? Dude, Game Genie for Super Nintendo. Five bucks. Do you have an old Nintendo, the system? Okay, no problem. Shaq Fu, man. Shaq Fu. It's funny how that game's basically become a staple. Crap. I mean, sorry. Thanks, man. Hey guys, Aaron and Ricky here from the NES Pursuit. Um, today we got to go out to the Orange County Swap Meet. We got to look at some games. We didn't get to stay out as long as we would have liked today on our first episode, which is kind of a bummer. But it's alright, we got some good games in the time we were there. Ricky, you can share first what you got. Nice. Got a sweet game, Genie. Don't worry, not for 20 bucks, only for about 5 bucks for a Super Nintendo. It's pretty good. Wave Bird for the GameCube, the wireless remote. Ricky had to come back twice for that. It was like first thing in the morning and he didn't want to pay 10 bucks, but then... 10 bucks still. End of the day. But, came with a free magazine. Tetris, didn't really want it, but the wife wanted it. Yes, so, that's true. Here we go. And with that one, came this one. I got him two for five, so might as well just throw that one in. And we don't collect too much like Genesis or PlayStation or anything like that, but we do like the games. We don't hate on any other systems. Got me some Street Fighter for the Super Nintendo. And Mortal Kombat, five bucks each. I didn't think it was too bad. That's not bad. And then, for the Game Boy Advance, I got me some Castlevania, some Spy Hunter, and whatever that is, Super Sprint. Didn't understand what the heck this was, I know it's for a game, game Boy Advance. It looks cool, so it's kind of fun to get. And out of nowhere, I somehow ended up with a Neo Geo Pocket game. So we don't have any Neo Geo Pockets, <laughs> but... And your last, my, oh no, two more things, go ahead. Well, here's what I got free with the Wave Bird. I think that's pretty awesome. Even though it's not the NES Super Mario 3, but it's still just cool. have Super Mario 3 on the cover of that. Probably the coolest thing of the day, this four score for the NES. Yeah, that's going to be awesome. I'm looking, thinking about like Super Dodgeball, Super Dodgeball. Gauntlet, Heck those are going to be awesome. Good find. Okay, for me, I didn't get that much, and personally, I wanted to pretty much just get Nintendo games, like original NES, but I got none, which is weird, because I normally see a ton. Um, I actually got these kind of for my kid, because I don't really play Game Boy too much, but um, Golf, I actually got it free with some of the stuff, another GameCube game that I bought, I'll show you. Uh, BattleBots, I don't know anything about it, but I got it for a dollar, because I figured my kid would enjoy it. Also, Tony Hawk's Downhill Jam. And another one I got free is I said, hey, this doesn't have anything on it, so just uh, can I have it with it? And she said, sure. Um, I was able to get these 
three for seven dollars, which isn't bad, but there's no cases or anything, so I figured at three for seven it's not a bad deal ticket. It's for GameCube. I got Soul Calibur 2. Nice. F Zero GX. And these aren't scratched or anything, so. And then Star Fox Adventures, which I didn't have a case for, but a lot of people, some people hate this game, some people love it. I personally only played it momentarily as a kid. So uh We'll see. I don't know. We'll find out. And the last one I got, five bucks. I say a good deal for this uh, Mario Kart Double Dash. It does have the instruction booklet and everything. And I know we walked to a store like five minutes after, and it was like thirty-five dollars at a reseller. So that's all we got today. This is our first episode, so we're very excited. We have a lot of things in store. We're not going to only do swappy pickups. We want to do like reviews and games, anything Nintendo related. We're kind of dorks in that way, to where we do play quite a lot of games every weekend. We actually played like over 700 Nintendo games together, NES, so yeah. a lot of time away from the family. But that's it for now, so thank you guys so much, and um, hopefully we see you guys next time. Peace. Guys, I don't know how we forgot. We didn't even try this out. I don't have a hookup right now to make this show on the screen, so I'm just going to tell you guys what it is. <laughs> Zelda, please. Um, it might be broken. <laughs> Do you take it out? It's you put it stuck back on the title screen. NES style. I think I just broke it. Oh, there you go. Uh, health and safety warning. Any button to continue. Nintendo logo. Intelligent systems. Some map is popping up. What is it? I don't know yet. It's some weird music. Fire Emblem, the <laughs> Sacred Stones. I don't know too much about this, but I think I've heard from somebody that was good. I know there's probably going to be people out there like you guys that probably know a lot about this game and might either think it's really awesome or not good. Um, don't hate on me and click the dislike button <laughs> just because of this. But um, we'll find out. Hey guys, Aaron and Ricky here from the NES Pursuit. Um, today we went out to the Golden West Swap Meet. Um, we searched around for some games for maybe four hours. We had like an hour left at the end of the day, so we went back to the Orange County Swap Meet where we were last week. Um, let's see how it went. Give me Nintendo. People think I'm weird. Ricky, do you love Nintendo? Yes. Yes, I do. Yeah, I'll say that. Do you love Nintendo more than you love your children? What? Dude, come on, it's a yes. <laughs> Don't lie. I'm gonna ask this lady right here how much she loves Nintendo. Ask her. Do you love Nintendo? Don't ignore me. Do I like this one? What is it? Oh yeah, it's a good game, dude. Too bad I can't hear you. Uh, I can barely hear you. Uh, is there a game I get for five minutes? Six? I can do it. That's cool, yeah. Somewhere in here, there could be a Nintendo World Championships. I highly doubt it. I think somebody was attempting to draw a mushroom from Mario. And Mickey Mouse? It's right here. Two bucks each. What'd you get, dog? Month for Red October. Ooh, a Thunder Cave. 
Ricky's practicing the next episode. We shoot everything from a couple miles away. Seriously, dude. This thing's awesome. You're awesome. Yeah. So all these Virtua Fighter 2, Virtua Cop Daytona USA uh, combo packs are still boxed and with plastic wrap, but with plenty of water damage, but kind of cool. These are all boxed right here too, which is pretty cool. Nothing too great. I think she works here. This lady? Four dollars each. I don't know. I like, I like my robo I would do like two for five. Yeah. Hey Ricky, I'm gonna give you a second chance. How much do you love Nintendo? Oh man, I love Nintendo. Do you love Nintendo more than your children? Ah, <laughs> uh, there's a, it's a different kind of love. Dude, you're going to Nintendo hell. <laughs> Nintendo hell. Oh, it doesn't work. Doesn't even work. Oh, oh man, the best find of the day, dude. <gasps> Oregon, Oregon Trail, Trail 3. Oh my gosh. That was like my childhood, dude. Ooh, what's this? Lizzie McGuire 2. Part 1 was so good. Here we go, firefighter knife. Made in China. That's like blasphemy. <laughs> Yeah, there's an actual PSP in here. Ooh. 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 How about a bear? It's black channel. Oh, dude. Is this what I think it is? Monopoly? Yeah, but look. Oh, look yeah, the game. Sega Master System. This is great. Yeah, I wonder how the Master System Captain Skyhawk, Tetris, Dr. Mario, Anticipation, and Operation Wolf. PS3. And a PS3. Ricky, didn't you say you needed a mouse for Mario Paint? Yeah. Got one for you. <laughs> oh. What'd you get, man? Uh, Ricky, I don't know if I'm crazy, but Killer Instinct on Game Boy. I don't know if I've ever heard of that or if that's real. Nice. Have you ever played Glover? Nope. I think I used to like it. I'm gonna buy it for you. <laughs> Would you do two for five? Thank you. So just when we thought we've seen it all, this guy is selling like a one-man pedal helicopter. No joke. He wants five thousand bucks for it. I asked him to trade me for a Nintendo game, but he said no. So, so far, Ricky and I haven't found much of anything. We're leaving our first swap meet. Say hi, Ricky. Hey. We're ghetto. We don't know if this is actually pointing directly at us, but I'm actually driving as we speak, um, <laughs> which is against the law. But uh, we haven't found anything. We're going to another swap meet right now with as much time we have left. We have like two hours left. Okay, I'm going to stop. I'm going to get an accident. Can you throw this away for me? Hey, do you guys sell Nintendo games? Nintendo games? Yeah. Dang. All right. Thanks, man. We are at swap meet number two. We got like an hour left of our day, so figured we'd come out here. No, hello kitty. I love you more. Ricky, what is it this time? Dude, and then Mary Kate and Ashley. Mary Kate and Ashley, sweet 16. License to drive. Did you take three for both? No, it's too cheap. Okay, yeah, I was just wondering. And these? The dog one, 20, 20 bucks. 20 bucks? This one. Okay, give me that, please. Yeah? What a nice man. What's the shape? Great, actually. Five bucks. She started at seven, so. That's good. Only point. Show my money. How much do I have my label or anything? What? $2. Dollars. 
Can you do one since I don't know what it is? Alright. I can do one. What'd you get? You came to see for me. Nice. Alright, just got this game for two bucks. Right out of that GameCube. Ricky got his mouse for his Super Nintendo Mario Paint. It's pretty dark right now, Ricky. I can't really see you, but we get the picture. They're back. All right, guys, what's up? Here and Ricky again with the NES Pursuit. We did finish our day off. Um, pretty good, decent. Um, we had little moments of doing good, moments of doing bad. Um, let's let Ricky start again. Let's see what he got. Sweet. All right, so I got these two games, uh, Race Driving and <laughs> Star Trek for some random reason. You're wrong, dude. You got Race Drive-In. No regarding. My bad. Two for three. Not too bad. Then I got The Hunt for Red October. Whatever. And Thundercade. Two I've for... never tried that. I got two for three, too. Two for three, two? I think. No, I think it's two each. Mario Bros. Just nothing but Mario Bros. Two bucks. And Skeet or Die. A buck. A lot of people hate that game. I personally have loved that game since I was a kid to this day. That's probably because I skateboard though. Also found the sweet mouse I was looking for. Finally! <laughs> no, seriously. For the Mario Paint. Super Nintendo Mario Paint. Sorry. We probably will try to do a review on that too sometime. Yeah, sometime. And then found these two. Take them out of the box. Ghosts and Goblins with a manual. That's nice. pretty epic. And Metroid. Good deal. Two for ten. And it's the cool Metroid. It's the yellow cover one. It's nice. It looks way nicer. Okay, on my turn. Um, I did okay, and I know it seems like I'm like a GameCube collector or something, I'm not, it's just it seems like recently I've been getting good deals on GameCube stuff. Um, I got Star Fox Assault. I know last time I got Star Fox Adventures. Um, I also got this for $5. It does not have the manual, but the game is in great condition, so that's cool with me. Um, I know this isn't worth a lot, but I always love the game Wave Race Blue Storm. It is literally in perfect condition, like with no some damage, no wrinkles even on the booklet. The game is like, it looks like it's literally someone took out the plastic and never opened it up yet. Um, Five dollars also, I don't know if I said that. Um, I did get another game that had no label for a dollar, so I always pick these up just because, not that I'm so much worried about spending the money, but I just think that if it's something that is good and I get it for a buck, it's cool, and if it's not and something sucks, then I'm not a dollar, whatever. Um, Kirby's Block Wall. I've never played it. I just know I like to pick up stuff that has like iconic characters in it, and uh, Kirby is obviously one. I think this was, uh, I don't want to be wrong, maybe $2. I don't know. We'll yeah. see this video. Um, Killer Instinct on the Game Boy. I heard this game stinks terribly, but it was $2, and I just thought it was cool because it's Killer Instinct. Um, I got, I think, this and this together, um, which is Glover. For the Nintendo 64, I'm actually gonna give it to Ricky. I already told him earlier. I don't really collect Nintendo 64 too much. I love Nintendo 64. It's just he's bigger into collecting them, so I let him get them. It's like I said, I think two for five. Um, the last thing I got, which I think was the coolest, not anything too awesome because it doesn't have a case or anything, but it's pretty sweet. some random guy was just sitting there and I, we always open GameCubes or anything really like PlayStation that's sitting there just to see what's in it because sometimes people don't know. And it was just some random guy selling a bunch of tools and stuff and I opened the GameCube and with no case or anything was The Legend of Zelda Collector's Edition. And I know that's an awesome game. I know it even sells um, without the case just like this with this only for like $20, which is not what I'm looking to do. But So it's pretty awesome. The guy said two bucks. So I couldn't go wrong really by doing that. Um, that's all we got today. But um, yeah, this was two swap meets in total for us. So it was pretty fun. But um, we got we actually got some equipment finally to do some recordings on our video games. We actually did already beat a game together for a Nintendo Entertainment System. We don't want to say what game yet, but it was pretty fun. Ricky is not too good at the game we played, so he died an awful lot. But um, that blows. Um, We'll see you guys next time.
Hey guys, what's up? It's Ricky with the NES Pursuit. And Aaron. Uh, today we went to Golden West and Cypress Swami. So, let's see how it went. I got my breakfast of champions, Mr. Pib and a bagel. So we got to the swap meet way too early. Back there. I think everybody thought it was going to rain today, so nobody's set up yet, but we'll fill in time with bagels. Talk to us. I don't know, 20, 30 on it. Oh, okay. Oh. Just got me RC Pro AM and gotcha. Two bucks each. Yeah. No. I, oh, I have part two, but not part one. I think they're the three. Would you do five for two, two of them? Uh, no, I'll take it all right. Give me part two. Five, yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. No. Just gorf. <laughs> <laughs> Faux Shizzle, Saint Nizzle. Would you take 15 for it? 18. Yeah? 18. 18? I say come back to it, right? Yeah. How much for the Game Boy? Ten dollars. Make dollars. Wow, I've never seen this case before for it. The new edition Resident Evil. Max. What about the Nintendo one? That one, four dollars. Mario Brothers, five dollars. Like wood, like wood, wood finish. Uh, that's fine. How much is it? 50 bucks. And we replaced it somewhere, so, so it should be like. You replaced the what? Uh, the parts inside. The oh, the pens? Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah, no, that's not bad. I just wanted to check it out. But that's pretty awesome. <laughs> I just got a game for a dollar. <laughs> I'm starting to have remorse over letting Ricky take that box after I had it first, after pushing him out of the way. Oh yeah. Now I'm jealous. Dump a skirt. Dump a skirt. Hello, swap me. Oh! This guy's gonna hit me, look. Oh. <laughs> All right, so we're leaving uh, the Cypress swap me right now. We haven't yep. got too much stuff yet, just a couple random games in a box, but um, the nice. biggest disappointment, I think, is no Mary Kate and Ashley games yet. So maybe next time. Oh, oh, you yeah. idiot! I've seriously got barely anything today. Look at this? Yeah, but it's... Oh, no, I know. Yeah. How much for this? That one. Okay. He's buying some straight-up nunchucks right now. You. I hope that's not illegal. Four games millipede. Tecmo Bowl. Complete set? 
box is jacked up, y'all, I'll measure, but... Oh, it's missing the thing. Tennis. <laughs> We're both finally finding games. Hey, what's up, guys? Um, I just wanted to say that we ran into a couple fellow YouTubers right here. You can give your name and go ahead and give your YouTube name. My name is Connor, and uh, I like games. One, two, three is my YouTube name. What's up? It's CJ from Retro Hungry. What up, guys? Mike Lanzo. But we just wanted to say what's up that we met a couple cool YouTubers. We uh, actually all have known random people through other YouTube, yeah. so it's pretty fun to uh, meet the guys in the community. So just wanted to give a shout out to them. So check out their channels. Yeah, Definitely. a lot more than I thought. I know. <laughs> pretty awesome. Yeah. Hello, guys. Aaron and Ricky from the NES Pursuit. Today, like we said, we um, went to Cyprus Swap Meet and we went to Golden West and uh, got some good games. I will start this time. Um, normally Ricky starts. So Mario Superstar Baseball for three dollars. Everything in it. Another GameCube success for me. Um, Nintendo 64 controller, three dollars. Everything works good. I know the analogs can be sketchy, so this one's in good condition, so that's all that really matters. Um, RC Pro Am. I don't know if people like this game too much or not. I personally did. I know it was made by Rare. Awesome. It was one of my favorite games as a kid. Probably end up reviewing that for um, our new series, which is actually called um, Play It Again with a question mark. I just put out a review for that. Kind of an overview more for Chippendales Rescue Rangers, so please check that out. Um, next, I got Gotcha. I know it's not that great of a game. Gotcha now. Gotcha now. Yay! Um, but it's a good game, according to me. I don't know. Uh, Millipede, I think that was what? Two bucks? Two bucks, yeah. Millipede, I think, was around the same. Most of these games we got for like two or three dollars at most. Millipede's not that awesome yet, but I'm just trying to grow the collection. Um, another game I liked as a kid, um, released by Capcom, Trojan. I know uh, a lot of people don't like this game that much, but I did as a child. It's good, I have yeah. And then this I scored on. Goldeneye 007. Um, I got it for two bucks, correct? Yeah, two. Two bucks. It's in pretty good condition. Um, no major damage. So, hooray for me. Well, hooray. Hooray. And then, the best deal I got today was a game called Ark the Lad Collection for PlayStation 1. I actually didn't know too much about it, so I kind of looked it up on my phone to search some details about it before, but it does have all six discs which I thought there was only supposed to be three when I first opened it until um, another YouTuber, rrob 78 uh, shot me a text and I asked him about it and said, yeah, it's supposed to have six. So I am pretty stoked on that. Um, that is it for me. Ricky, sir, he did good. Sweet. I'll start with something plain. Some Donkey Kong for the Atari. Which one? I have no idea. But that was cool. For a buck. Calico. Calico. Then I got some Super Off-Road for Super, Nin uh, Super Nintendo. Sorry, Robert Man, but it's my game now. Three bucks. Whatever. Cool. I got me some Bart Space Mutants. That game's hard. Treasure Master. And Tecmo Star Force. All three for five bucks. Hey, I'm cool. And I also got me from the same person who sold us the all the PlayStation stuff. Two bucks, Grand Theft Auto. I don't know if it was director's cut, never seen it. Look cool. Grandia. It's got all everything in there. That's a good deal for two bucks. Two bucks. Yeah, you scored on that. And Paradise Eve. Parasite. Parasite? Oh, Parasite Eve. My bad. And we like that again with more Zelda for GameCube. But with the box. Boom. It just broke. No dead. Boxing manual, pretty good condition though. Yeah, that is awesome. awesome. And also got some Sega Dreamcast games. Some King of Fighters, which I love. Favorite game ever? Capcom vs SNK. Well, one of them, sorry. I was so close to getting two different Dreamcasts today, I was trying so hard to get one. But all of them didn't have any cables or anything, so it was kind of pissing me off towards the end of the day, but yeah, it's all good. And 
sweet find of the day, Super Nintendo, just the box. But it's got, like, everything but the manual in it. I mean, with the game system in there. Yeah, it, had, it has a styrofoam that came with, like, a poster, poster. in it. It has, like, the instructions. I actually pushed Ricky out of the way to get that first, and I don't know why I ended up backing down on it and letting him have it. For five bucks, it is just the box, but that is some sweet decor right there. Dude, you know what I just realized? What? Mario 2 and Gauntlet. Where the heck is it? I don't know where it is. Ricky did just realize. He bought Super Mario 2 and Gauntlet. Oh, and for Super Nintendo, uh, Tiny Toons. Tiny Toons. Dude, Dude I am 10. so hoping you're going to lose those. That uh, would sink. Can't show them now, but honestly, I have to look. I'll put them up on the screen, <laughs> oh, like a little picture of it. Um, something I did want to mention. We, as you saw in the video, we ran into a bunch of YouTubers. I just want to say that the community of YouTube people have been so good to us. We've only been doing this Thanks, guys. for, I think, two weeks today. Um, a couple people I did want to mention is I Like Games 1, 2, 3, Retro Hungry, Asian Sleepy, 49er Nation 1, R Rob 78, and Cyphic. Um, those people have just been super cool to us, super um, supportive of us, sending us a lot of messages. Um, our Rob sent me his um, phone number right away, you know, told me what's up. He was saying that he liked our stuff. So it's just really cool to be supported so quick by everyone. And also, you guys who have subscribed, um, like 50 subscribers or something in two weeks. I was thinking like 50 subscribers in <laughs> six months. I don't know. So we just have fun, but we want to say thank you guys so much for watching. Um, Thanks. This is our third episode. And we have one more thing for you guys. As always, see you next time. It's so weird how like small it is, like random people. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
price still works. The price was right. Yes! Oh, dude, okay. <laughs> Bible Adventures. I love this game. You can be Noah and stack like six animals on top of you and just chuck the animals into the ark. Pretty rad. I don't know if I learned anything about the Bible from playing it, but it was pretty fun. Dude. Awesome so far. Straight up! Straight up Ninja Turtles. Ninja Turtles. Good game, hard game. Awesome. Under, waddle, under uh, water level on this game is ridiculous going through the seaweed, but it's a fun game. Oh, awesome. Sweet, this one actually came out good. Yeah, that looks really Heavy good. Heavy Barrel. I actually heard this was pretty sweet. Never played it. Yeah, I never dove into it too much. A little bit, so... Let us know. Yes. It looks sweet, though. Yeah, it looks nice. Cover up's good on it. Oh, another one. All right, dude. dude. Another Metroid. <laughs> Metroid. My third Metroid. Awesome. Dude. Yeah, you never go wrong with these. Yeah, everything's awesome. I swear these are my old games. Rad Racer. Rad Racer. I don't Even know just bought that last time, right? Did you? No, you didn't. Never mind. Rad Racer 2. I got both. Good call, dude. This one I did get last time. Classic. Just straight up Tetris. Well, cool. it's not the tension Tetris, which would be nice, because we'd be a lot more money, but this is still good. Karate Champ. Yeah, Karate Champ. I played that. It's not that good, but it's a cool game. It's, it's no kung fu. Yeah, it's no kung fu, that's for sure. But it's fun. Data East, same company that made bad dudes and other fun games. Oh, sweet. What? Another Super Contra. Two Super Contra. Super now. Contra, right on, dude. Oh, awesome, man, dude. Good for you. Dude, this is like all my childhood right here. Oh. <laughs> RBA Baseball, I saw a Tengen, and I'm like, it's Tengen Tetris. <laughs> RBA Baseball is still pretty darn fun. Yeah, anything Nintendo sports. Old NES sports games are pretty cool because they're not trying to get you to do upgrades like all the new games just to get like a new roster or something. We just. Yeah. Game simple and easy and fun. Seriously. Let's see. He sent me Zapper. The gray Zapper. Nice. Oh, you have the orange one. It's a sweet Zap. Controller. Controller. NES. Doesn't hurt. Let's see. That we might be out. I think that's it. Oh, oh. Another controller on the side. That's it. That's it. That was awesome. Seriously. Good job, Uncle Ricky's Yo. uncle. Uncle Rico, we're gonna call him. We'll call him Uncle Rico for now. But um, we'll see you guys in a little bit. Let's see how our, our uh, episode goes today. See ya! Seriously, where the heck is this want me? Um, it looks like it just got done raining, too. There's like 10 cars here. Seriously, where do I go? Do you have any idea? Know. It's not in there? That's where the indoor one is, I think. They might have changed it to the indoor, but uh, that doesn't even make sense because there's no one here. I know the ATM is there, though. There it is! The ATM. Alright, whatever. We'll keep looking. How much for just the controller? Oh, uh, come on, just the controller. Yes. Okay. He can't, sure? Ricky. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, man. Try. I know. It's nice and wet, too. Let's try to help them out. I don't think they understand the wet Friday or wet Saturday. What? We're here with Retro Hungry, by the way. What up? Yeah, randomly ran into him again. <laughs> he says it's been picked through today, but. We might, we might find something. We'll give it a shot. Kind of like this one. Yeah, it's Black Box series. Gunsmoke is an awesome game by Capcom. Dude, that one's... It's, it's like Contra, really but like up, up you. The up you stages, yeah. It's a really fun game. Obviously, Super Mario 3 and Super Mario 2. Um, we'll see if I'll work with her. See if she rolls with me. 
it is. Let's see. Dun dun dun. Wow. Got games and I don't know if this is the original color for it or if you're the yellow. Yeah, I... the box looks the color is more a little gray. What's this? Envelopes. Envelopes. Huh? Oh! 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 Alright guys, we just finished at Cyprus swap meet, so now we're heading to another swap meet. Aaron, how'd you do? Okay, not that great. We ran into Retro Hungry, so that was cool. Got to hang out with a buddy. But, um, not too bad. We spent like 15 bucks or something. Got some goodies. We'll show you later. Nice. <laughs> Thing is awesome. It's like Speed Racer's car. Oh my God. Look at this. And pursue. <laughs> How much are they gained? Five dollars each. Five dollars each. The Metroid. Yep, Metroid Prime. Mario Doll. No scratch. Good deal. Yeah, you look good. to a buddy's house right now. Um, he has a bunch of games that he sells and he also collects. He does a little bit of both. We're going to check out to see what he has. We're driving and it's dark right now. It's kind of late. Raining. Um, it's raining. And we are by South Coast Plaza Ooh. because we're rich, <laughs> greedy men. No, we're not. We're not rich. We're honestly freaking poor. Yeah. It's pretty pathetic. <laughs> We are leaving our friend's house right now, and we did pick up one thing. He had a ton of good stuff. I'm talking a ton of good stuff, but so much like I said, we're poor. But uh, Ricky, show him. Yes, the mini Super Nintendo for ten bucks. Yeah, we got it for ten bucks. That was really cool of him. Um, he bought it for ten bucks, and he said that he would sell it to us for ten dollars because. He's a cool dude. Seriously. So, um, yeah, that's it. Man. Hello, guys. Welcome back. Aaron and Ricky here with the NES Pursuit again. Um, first off, I wanted to tell you guys Happy Thanksgiving again. But um, in the comments below, I would actually like it if you guys left us some comments on to what games you guys are most thankful for. Um, I don't know what game I would even say. I don't know. We don't have to answer that yet. We haven't thought about it. Um, we're going to cut it kind of short. Uh, right now because um, we spent a lot of time unboxing earlier, so we don't want to spend too much time. But we did get a couple games. Ricky, go ahead and uh, show them what you got. Alright, well, this time I got me some Wrecking Crew. Wrecking Crew is a cool black box series game. I, didn't, I haven't gotten to try it, but hopefully we can have some fun. Then I got Donkey Kong Classics, which has the Donkey Kong and Donkey Kong Jr. Not Donkey Kong 3. No. And then, I like that with this nice little Resident Evil, what was this, the Premium Edition. It's missing a CD, but, dude, just that thing's awesome. The box is nice, and that's, I think we both can agree, and probably a lot of you would agree that's the best Resident Evil the ever best. out. If you guys haven't tried it, honestly, the best. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Good job. Luigi's Mansion, fun. We've been playing it ever since we got it. That game sucks. Get it? Uh... <laughs> yeah, that was dumb. Okay, well, that's it for Ricky. Like I said, we didn't get too much on this time. Um, I got Crash Team Racing for a buck, which um, I never played it that much, but what I did play was pretty fun. I know it's not like a rare game or anything, but 
I had fun playing at the time. I did. Yeah. Um, I ended up getting Gunsmoke, which I think I showed a little thing in the video for it. But um, that is a really, 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 really fun game. Yeah. Um, made by Capcom, so I guess you kind of figure that it would be good. Um, I also picked up Super Mario 3. I probably have another copy of this somewhere, but it's Super Mario 3. Some people regard it as the best Mario ever made. I don't know if I would agree to that or not. I don't know. I don't know. That's rough. Okay, but well, the last thing I got, and the final thing, is pretty awesome, as you saw in the video. Um, I picked up this bad boy, a Miracle Piano. Um, I got it for, I don't know if you can see it, I got it for $12. The guy wanted 20 and I ended up um, actually talking him down right after our camera died. I was like, go figure. I did some good wheeling and dealing. And ooh, this fits nice right here. Um, yeah, so I got it for 10 bucks. And something else, or 12 bucks. The other thing that's cool about it is that Ricky actually has one too. So we are like probably hated by a lot of people for each having one. We both found it. We actually have seen three, but we didn't buy the um, the other one we saw like a month ago because I think the guy wanted a lot more for it. 20, but still anyone. 20 is still a good deal. I know, but <laughs> we did good for this. But um, that's it, you guys. We don't want to keep it too long, but um, we did want to say happy Thanksgiving again, and please remember to leave us a comment on what game you are most thankful for this year. And uh, we will take you guys out with a song. Until next time, see you then. Yeah? Where should we go next? Let's try the Goodwill. All right! We are in Chino, in a hidden area. Actually, it's not that hidden. It's uh, pretty early. There's a big line to get in, so me and Ricky are waiting outside right now. Ricky? Mm -hmm. Are you excited for today? Yippee! Yeah. Yeah, we're pretty stoked. We have all day today, so we're hopefully going to hit up two swap meets. We are excited, everybody. <laughs> Super Nintendo, Dirt, Dirt Trap FX. I've played that. Here's some more games right here. Check it out. Another Super Mario. Ooh, NBA Jam box. That's pretty rad. I get the Mario just to have another Mario. Too. Never have too many Mario's. Nope. That is a true statement, my friend. I don't know if anybody here has ever played Base Wars, but it is freaking awesome. Street Fighter 2010? What? You do? Really? Final Fantasy Echoes of Time. Holla! Let's hope he's cheap. Marble Madness. You see anything? That's like the booklet. For a Game Boy Advance. Ooh, yeah. It's a cool booklet. Where's the Game Boy, though? Or the game? Did you see it in there? Uh-uh. Alright, Aaron. How you doing? Good. We were just about to leave like five minutes ago, and we only got like two games, but we just scored in the last like five minutes big time with this one guy. So, I'm pretty excited. Now we're going to more swap meets. we got a full day ahead of us. Finally. So, we'll see. Cool. So now we're headed to Santa Fe Springs, which was closed last week when we went. So we are hopefully going to get lucky in yep. Kentucky. 
I have an itch under my nose. All right, we're going to uh, head there now. We're leaving Chino. You! Nikki's Speedway is actually pretty fun. Off road challenge, also. So, we are not finding anything here. Um, I'm kind of sort of starting to hate Santa Fe Spring Swami. It's nothing but stores, no garage sales. <sighs> As we walk by a reseller. So, we're leaving Santa Fe. I don't know. I'm kind of bummed. I don't want to dog on the Swami too much because. We've only been here technically once. We tried to come last week, but it was closed because of the rain. But um, seriously, it was like all stands. It was there were like stores. There was like what do we see? Like four garage sale type places. Yeah. We can't complain. We got two pretty cool, ga pretty cool uh, Pokemon games. That we'll show you guys later. But let's try another swap meet. Our third one this morning. Bad to the bone, super scope. We do not have this yet. We do need it. Sensor in it. Oh, it needs a sensor in it? Yeah. There's Aladdin boxed for Genesis, where you do have a sword as opposed to the Super Nintendo version. What you holding, Ricky? Mouse. <laughs> to the earth. To the earth. Boxed. Silent service. Silent box. service box. Another ultra game. Some goodies. Not gonna lie, for a reseller, these guys are pretty good priced and pretty cool. Tiger Heli, which I loved as a kid, by Acclaim. Jordan versus Bird, one on one. It is not very fun one on one, but it's a game I do not have. Bring you some X-Men. Ooh. You're an X-Men man. Yeah, I am. Well, let's see. How much are the uh, Nintendo games? Two dollars each? All right. I shall. Will you do a three for five? All right. I do not have. Do you have bases loaded too? I'm not sure. I know we don't have this game, Othello. It sucks, but... Just the game to add? Yeah. I'm gonna do it. Sweet. Five bucks. Cool it. Ricky's debating if he's gonna buy WWF Raw box for three bucks. Are you gonna do it, Ricky? I don't know. I'm gonna offer him to see what happens. What do you guys think at home? Should he do it? I don't know. Ask him for two. All right. Two. Yeah. All right, take it, dude. I want to get married to one of these dolls. Just kidding, that's sick and twisted. Oh, no back case. Well, how much is it? This thing says three bucks. I think it's three fingers. Is this three or ten? Three bucks. I just reduced it. And I took the game out because it keeps stealing the game. What do you think? Not the back case. I don't really care. I just only one more. Yeah, we don't have one yet. I'll pop three bucks in, dude. Yeah, I can't, it's either way, it's sweet decor, as I always say. Are you I, taking a Are you the IRS? Yes, hello. Yeah, you're under investigation. <laughs> hey, now I have to blur your finger out. No, I'm just kidding. You gotta blur everything. Yeah, we do a kid's show on ABC. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Ricky just got a Game Boy for three bucks. Do you want a little history on this, Ricky? This was made by uh, Sega in 2009, released for the Atari for the Mario 64. What? Yeah, dude, it's good stuff. Oh, are you serious? What was it, though? Silent Hill 2. It's one of my all time favorites.
If there's one thing better than video games, it's nothing, but food comes close. Ricky, did you have a good day today? Oh, yeah. On a scale of 1 to 10, how many Dr. Wileys would you give today? Mm, maybe 11. 11 Dr. Wileys out of 10? So all in all, we um, we had a pretty good day out there, but um, we didn't get anything too rare or too expensive, but nice. we're happy about our boxed NES games and stuff, but it, it's really about the fun. Um, yeah. Going to the swap meets every weekend for us isn't always, you know, going home being like, oh my gosh, I got the rarest game or the best pickup I ever got. It's just having fun. Um, yeah. We've been doing this for a long time together, so... Um, Ooh, and the Game Boy's a plus. Yes, the Game Boy is a plus. Hello, friends. What's up, you guys? Aaron and Ricky here again with the NES Pursuit. Yep. Um, we kind of spent a long time um, on that video, so we kind of got to go a little quicker than normal. But um, first things little. first, I did want to say thank you to a guy named Kingsley Blancher. Um, he sent us Contra Hardcore. Um, yeah. He texted me, and, or actually uh, in YouTube, sent me a message saying, hey, is there anything you and Ricky really want? And I said, you know, Ricky's been wanting Contra Hardcore for a long time. Thanks, so, man. Um, he sent it to us. That's awesome yeah. of him. Um, he also sent us some Game Boy games for our kids. Um, he has a Facebook page called Houston Retro Gamers. I would check that out. It's a community of YouTubers who um, just share their games, what they have. They also do trades and stuff together. So um, it's good people. Um, yeah. Ricky, go ahead and show them what you got. Sorry, I feel like I'm rushing. All right, real quick. I got a Game Boy original. That was awesome. Mario the 3 Duck Hunt. And uh, the World Track. Not Mario 3, if that's what you thought no, he said. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> it sounded like he said Mario 3. I was like, really? Got me two games. Mega Man X Command Mission. Awesome. Ricky's a big Mega Man fan. It'll be awesome. Can't wait to try this one, too. Pokemon XD. Yes. And then, real fast, Bok Team Silent Service. And it looks like it was just, like, slit open at the top just to get the game out because it has, like, the seal seal on it otherwise. Yeah. But that's pretty cool. And then NBA Jam Tournament, Tournament Edition. Edition. That is, like, the funnest game, basketball game ever to this day. I still say it is the bas best basketball game He's ever He's on made. fire! Yeah, it's amazing. Um, okay, well, I guess on that note, we'll jump into my basketball game. Jordan vs. Bird. <laughs> Extremely boring and crappy, but add it to the collection. Um... Win, lose, or draw, and Othello. Um, I show them together because I don't think much of either of them. I just got them because I don't have them. Um, I got them for collection-wise. Um, Tiger Halley, which I do love. The music gets a little annoying after a while because it just repeats, but the game's pretty fun. It's good. Track and Field 2, which is funner than I thought. I put it in the other day, and it was way funner than I thought. There's a lot of different events you can do. I really enjoyed the fencing. Um, I did. <laughs> Shut up. To the Earth. Um, it has everything in here. It has the casing. It has the instruction booklet. So I'm pretty excited about that one. The game's pretty fun. Nothing too awesome, but like I've mentioned before, we're both uh, we fall in love with box games way too easy. Yeah. Speaking of that, I got Dirt Tracks FX for Ooh. Super Nintendo. Everything's in here too. It has those like Polygon Virtua, like Virtua Fighter graphics, which kind of hard to steer and, and uh, your motorcycles and stuff, but it was cool. And then I also did get Final Fantasy Echoes of Time. I also got Final Fantasy Advance, uh, Final Fantasy V Advance, but um, I lost it at my house. <laughs> Whoops. Which I'm really excited to play those, by the way, because I've never played Final Fantasies on handhelds yet. And last thing I got, uh, Nintendo Power. It's the October 2012 edition, which I know there's only two more following this. So, Sadly. I don't know. Sadly, yes. Seriously, that is pretty sad. Um, that's it. I hope we didn't rush too much. We kind of did, but <laughs> yeah. we kind of had to. The video was like already 12 minutes long without Sorry guys. Yeah, any of this. But um, until then, I guess that's it.
It's fine, just stop hitting the wall. So today, I'm headed out to uh, Frank and Sons over in Roland Heights. Uh, I'm by myself today, I got my brother-in-law Mike to a film for me. And normally when I'm by myself, I wouldn't get anybody to film for me, but today I'm on my way to meet Ennius Complex. NES Complex. Now that name to Ricky and I means our favorite YouTube video game reviewer of all time. If you guys have not checked out his channel, I highly, highly, highly recommend you do. He has a few series on this channel, including The Collection Grows, Video Game Store Happy Fun Time, Nintendo Power Time Machine, and Is It Fun? In all of these, you guys, he goes into such great details about games and nostalgia and his past. It really does bring back such good memories just to watch these and see his passion for them. And meeting him in person was no different. He had a genuine love for games, and he was an honest-to-goodness, genuine guy. I can't recommend his channel enough, you guys. If you haven't checked it out, please do and subscribe. You don't know what you're missing. Mike, can I store these in your pocket? Absolutely. Thank you, sir. Yeah. I appreciate it. You're going to kill me. Uh, what? You're going to kill me. Why? Because I wasn't recording when I first walked up. Oh, it's okay. I'm out. Mm. You want to battle me? <laughs> oh, Sega Master System. I've been dying for one. Oh gosh. Controller. Oh man. on all this stuff for a while. We also have a. Oh, you do? Other places? Yeah, it's all just strictly Nintendo Oh, wow. <laughs> have to it's here today? Yeah, it's here today. It's oh, always, sweet. Yeah, they're always here. This is like permanent. That's, That's awesome. awesome. I just it's on, the, it's on 500. I can have it in What is it? Just five hours down? It's five hours down in the corner. Okay. You can just spend a whole separate section, too, of NES. Oh, I know. That's brand new, too. That's, That's what used to be here. That's going to be pretty exciting. Look at that. Yeah, I know. I'm... I'm I'm a, I'm a little bit afraid of going over there. <laughs> I know, that's why I don't want to buy it yet. I'm going to tell maybe the way out, because I might go crazy over there. Okay, don't worry. Yeah, I can, hold on, wait, let me see. Is I just get inside? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, Ricky, NES Complex has something to say to you. Hi, Ricky. <laughs> oh, that's so we nice. We saved a seat. I wish... It's lonely. <laughs> I wish you could have been here, but next time, we'll, we'll plan a day when you are available as well. Aww. So we had a really good time that day, and we built a good friendship. But when I came home, I found out he put a video out about today. Here was pretty much me and Ricky's reaction when we saw it. But the quality is high. Uh, the editing is nice. All the sound effects. There's little touches that separate, you know, good from amazing YouTube channels. I think they have those good touches. Uh, but they also do something interesting where they almost... So a day later, after me and Ricky watched that video about 42 times, we went out and did some trades and got some more games. Alright, it is dark, it is late. Actually, it's 7.51, but it's pretty dark right now. Yeah. Um, we're on our way to meet up with a fellow YouTuber. Um, we're going to do a trade, which we've never done before. I don't think ever. No. No. So, it's kind of exciting. Um, he has some box Nintendo games that we really want. Um, Ricky has a Super Nintendo game that he really wants, so we're going to do a trade. Um, we will tell you what that trade is later, and we're excited, and here's a hint. 
Is that a hint? I don't know. Never mind. Yeah. Well, uh, kind of. I have ADD, which stands for Aaron's Destructive Driving. Oh! <laughs> I'm feel to know that we're lost and that we're still 12 minutes away now. What? <laughs> what the heck happened, stupid GPS? It just changes the address on me after I ended it for like the fourth time. Where is it at now? Uh, we have to get on the uh, don't tell me we're going south. I hate you. Well, don't blame me. <laughs> so we drove like 25 minutes past where we were supposed to be. That sucks. We just turned around. I hate my phone. I won't even mention what company I'm using or whatever GPS. It's a Droid X and I have Verizon. <laughs> Hold your breath. <gasps> I wish for an unlimited supply of Nintendo games. So the trade is now finished. Ricky, how do you feel about the trade? I mean, it feels like I like lost a friend, but you know what? I got a ton of cool stuff. It was pretty cool. Are you freaking kidding me? We just got on the wrong freeway again. <laughs> oh my gosh. On the way home, this has like been a two hour journey that should have taken 25 minutes. <laughs> Spoiler alert. One of the games Ricky got is Tetris 2. Ricky, do you want a little history lesson on Tetris 2? Sure. This game was designed actually before Tetris 1 by Shigeru Miyamoto, which also um, he's most known for his games like creating the Mary Kate series and others like that. Um, he co-developed it with Kim Kardashian um, when uh, Chloe won the Olympics in 1948. <laughs> Come on. Hi, you guys. Um, my name is Aaron, by the way. I know we normally say our names really fast, like I'm Aaron, I'm Ricky, but I'm Aaron. It's good uh, to meet you guys and officially introduce myself correctly for once. And this is uh, I'm Ricky. Nice to meet you. This is our handshake. We uh, we had a good time this week. We got a lot of good stuff. We're actually really oh, yeah. excited about everything we got. Sorry if the audio was kind of rough too, and it because in the first part with NEX Complex we were in an indoor place where it was really loud and echoey, so a lot of times it was really hard to get the volume levels right. And the last part we were driving, so the wind was going a lot. Yeah. Um, it wasn't our normal Swamp Meat videos, but sorry. go figure, we got some amazing stuff. I will let Ricky leave the Calvary and start. Sweet. Alright, so first stop, I actually did go to the Swamp Meat. Sorry, I did not bring the camera. He didn't even tell me. He <laughs> called me at like 10. He's like, by the way, I got a bunch of stuff. I'm like, thank you. <laughs> but that's what I get for going to the NES Complex alone. Wasn't my fault. Thank you true. again, NES Complex, by the way. Yes. Alright, so he's got NFL 94 with Joe Montana. You never have too much, too much Joe Montana. Too much. The too original much. price on it is still there too. 50, 50 bucks. bucks. <laughs> then I got uh, Street Fighter 2 Special Champion Edition. Or the Genesis. Yeah, Actually, these are all Genesis. We don't even talk about that. No, everyone loves Street Fighter. Golden Axe. Pretty sweet game. Man. Amazing game, I would say. I always like being that little, uh, little dwarf. <laughs> yeah. Whatever he is. This guy was awesome. And one of the greatest games of ever. all time. Shaq Fu. I mean, seriously, <laughs> it is like not the worst game ever. I played it. It's pretty bad. It wasn't like the worst game I've ever played, but I don't know. And for some reason, I always end up picking an NBA Jam. There's no harm, no foul. Yeah. Can't go wrong with that. Mm -mm. Then I got just random sports games, but it was awesome. All these were. What are they? Name them off real quick. All right, NHL 95, 93. Football 92 and Madden 94. There you go. All of them, eight bucks. That's a good deal. Box games, wait, how many did you get? Dude. Eight total? I think yeah, whatever. Nine. 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 Yeah. That's good, for eight bucks. Oh, and I also picked up an Atari 2600. That's awesome. I'm super excited for that to play. Like Pitfall, actually my favorite Pitfall of all time out of all the Pitfalls is the one in the Atari 2600. Yeah. Um, also, if you guys didn't know, you can plug in Genesis or like Sega Master System controllers into it and play. It's awesome. Which personally for me helps. I oh, show them that Wii U you got. We got a Wii U. Oh yeah. We're pretty excited. Oh, it costs a lot, but pretty sick. Yeah. We awesome. were able to put our money together and afford it, so but we finally got it. It's nice. Oh, 
your trades. This is exciting. And these are the trades I'm waiting for X3. With I, Retro Liberty, by the way. Oh, Retro, no, retro Humvee. Humvee. We're Retro Liberty. Ha <laughs> ha! Thank you, Retro Humvee. Thanks, man. So, start off with Boxed Mario 3. Awesome game. Amazing. Love it. Yeah, amazing. And then, uh, I think Aaron already showed an intro to this one. Tetris 2. Yeah, I gave you a good good history on that game. That's a good history. Mario 1. These are all boxed, by the way. Yeah, every Pretty single one sweet. he's pulling out. That was rad. Oh, best soccer game ever. If you haven't played it, it's alright. It's awesome. Yeah, World we, Cup. We just beat that, too. Um, before we even started doing our YouTube thing, we beat Dude. that, like... Yeah, like four months ago. Awesome game. Yeah. It has password system, so that's really cool because it's hard on the Nintendo to sit through and keep playing like four hours straight of soccer, but with the passcode. Soccer power moves, that's all I can You say. know what's funny? We couldn't beat it until we used Mexico. Which <laughs> <laughs> was weird. We were like, uh, <laughs> this game is racist. <laughs> I guess so. Yeah. Then I got Simon's Quest, Castlevania 2, boxed. This and that one's in freaking good Yeah, that one's in really good condition. Good for you. Yeah. Awesome. I was excited about this one. Ninja Gaiden 2. Amazing. We played it actually right before we filmed this. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Pretty hard. It's pretty infamous for Fun. getting knocked back when you get hit. This one just randomly, I did not have it, so I needed it. Shane <laughs> the ruler. Yeah, that game sucks. <laughs> yeah. We put it in and we just stared at the screen like. We just don't know how to play it. Uh, or it sucks. Yeah. Awesome baseball game. You never tried. Base Wars, you actually get to fight <laughs> on Base Wars. I love Base Wars, I always love Base Wars. I actually talked about it in the last episode, so it's kind of interesting. You got it. Good for you. Then uh, I got me some Bionic Commando. Awesome. One of my personal favorites, too. And I was super excited when Xbox 360 announced they were putting one out, but that game <laughs> blew. That was so bad, I was so excited. Oh, and then I got awesome Dragon Warrior. Yes. Very reminiscent of a uh, Final Fantasy. Yeah, yeah, it's awesome. And actually, this one's Aaron's. Yes, I did get that one. It's actually Joust. Aaron's is still in my box. Here you go. Yeah, Joust is amazing. <laughs> if you haven't played it, you need to play Joust, especially two players. Highly recommend it. Last but not least, boxed Final Fantasy. And that one is first one. Good condition, dude. Yeah, pretty cool. That's where it all started, right there, people. Nice. Is that it for you? That's it for me, man. All right. I don't have as much things, but thing I, things I got that I am really happy about. Um, I'll start off with Stinger for uh, the NES. Actually, um, NES Complex recommended this to me. It is very um, kiddish, kind of like a Fantasy Zone. Um, it was very, very fun. It's like a shoot 'em up, uh, side scrolling shoot 'em up. It was really, really, really fun. Um, I didn't know what this was when I bought it. It was it's called Solstice, but when I put it in, I have played it, and it's pretty awesome. You're like a wizard, and it has like a weird angle, kind of like Cubert or something like that. It's one of the trolls, right? Yeah, I don't know, a bunch like of weird magicians and stuff. Not only my type of game, but like the style of the gameplay was different than normal games, so I really enjoyed it. Um, ooh, ooh, oh. Nintendo Power magazines! Hooray! I've been wanting these for a long time. <laughs> um, we got some Maniac Mansion. I think that's the uh, oldest one in the bunch that I got. It's volume 16. I won't go through them all too much. Uh, Doctor Mario. Sorry, I don't know if you can see these guys. I'm doing a bad job. Uh, Lemmings, uh, Battletoads, and Double Dragon, which is a great awesome beat em up. Game. And Tiny Toon Adventures, Buster Bust Loose, which is a really I good game, that. too. Yeah, you did get that. And it's a good game. Okay. Um, NFL 2K1 <laughs> for Dreamcast. But I got this for free, along with my purchase of da, 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 something I've been wanting for a long time ah, my Dreamcast. I've been dying for one of these. Um, even loose. I got it boxed. Um, it is complete in here. The manuals are in here. The only thing it doesn't have is the EMU, which I think is visual, visual memory unit. I think so. Don't be mad if it's not right. Um, but that's not in there. I don't know if it normally even comes with that though. Maybe. Maybe not. Mm. But I'm really excited about this, you guys. Probably the best, I think the best fighting games on the system. Capcom vs. SNK started in. Yeah, those are amazing. Um, I'm really excited. And my last thing, but not least, something we've both been looking for for a while because I seriously love, love, love awesome. this system. Sega Master System. <laughs> Beautiful. I love it. You know what? I didn't remember how lightweight it was um, until I picked it up. Um, it takes cartridges. It also takes, um, like, discs. Oh, not discs. Um, 
I forgot what you call like floppy disk type things that go in here. They're also games. But I never owned any of those. I always had cartridges. I didn't even know about the other ones. Huh. Well, there you go. It's not lying. Um, we put it in. It comes with a built-in games, normally a, a light phaser game and also that yeah. regular funky motorcycle one. Or Outrun? No, that's not Outrun. I forgot what it was. Hang on. Hang on. That was it. It was actually fun. I'm really excited to dive into this more. It did come with the controller. Um, I got it for 45 bucks, which was not great, but it was from like a reseller type place. So I think it was good. Yeah. I, um, but buying it from a place like that, you know, sometimes you pay a little more, but you also have the reassurance of knowing that if something goes wrong with it, you know, but they're always there. Yeah. Um, that's it. Thanks again to NES Complex for meeting us out there. Thanks, or for meeting me out there. He said hi to you on the video. Next time. Yeah, I'm so thankful, you guys. He's a rad guy. Um, I just want to say thank you to him again. It means a lot. We've been contacted by a lot of really cool people on YouTube that I never thought I'd be talking to. Um, I really want to say thank you to all you guys that have subscribed. It is shocking to me how many people have subscribed in a short amount of time. Um, please keep liking, commenting, and subscribing. You guys can feel free to ask us anything in the comments, except for that, that one comment. We'll put it right here right somewhere. Right here somewhere. I'm not that good at that. <laughs> um, but yeah, until then, you guys, that's it. Um, have a good one. Oh. Whatever you do, do not turn off this video. You will not believe the amount of games I got for free and the systems I got for free. Oh. My. on film that's awesome what's up guys morning Aaron and Ricky here on our way to our swap meet adventure yeah I'm tired I just woke up literally probably five minutes ago I was actually putting on my shoes barefoot outside as Ricky got there <laughs> so I'm tired we don't have that much time but we'll get as much done as we can yep in a short time. wish us luck later now this is dedication we get here before the vendors get here is awesome. I'm not kidding. You're lucky I'm filming. Has some of the best music ever. These are cool too. Shorter on eight plug. <clears throat> oh dude, Mutant League? Dude, get that. Give that to me if you don't want that. I'll get it. I saw it. I was like, what the? Batman. Wow. I love you. Uh, I know label. I know labeler? Yeah, I know labeler. You guys don't know how hard it is to do this without saying mystery cart. <laughs> we have been here for like five minutes and we've gotten like ten things and everything we got has been like a dollar so far. Awesome. So far so good. Yeah! We're still looking. People are looking at me right now like, why is this guy filming himself? It's because I'm a celebrity, thank you. <laughs> Look what Ricky just found. Hey, you know what? Somebody leave in the what? comments something we could call these instead of mystery carts. Because we don't know what else to call them. Let's call them no labelers. No labelers. Hey, how much is the, the game? It has no label. One dollar? Cool. Now that 
for a dollar. Sounds like it's worth it, Ricky. I know. Ricky, don't hurt me. Here we go, man. Ren and Stimpy. Ren and Stimpa. Stimpy. Ren and Stimpy. Beat up. Uh, you got any Nintendo powers in here? Um, any chance? No, it's just uh, Marvel oh. and uh, DC. Alright. I'm sure you guys already know this, but when you go to a garage sale type place that's selling stuff and everything's individually marked and priced out, it's not, you're not going to get a good deal. It's kind of sad when people do that. Not really, they just know what they're doing. Just found a factory seal. Oh man, Sorry. I thought those were all buried. So that's it for our day. Um, we don't know, hopefully we can go to some Goodwills this week because we weren't at the swap meet too long. So we're going to see if we can hit up some Goodwills or thrift stores or something to help finish up our episode. Nice. If not, then you'll just see us show our stuff from here on. But hopefully not. We'll see. I love you. Alright, so we did not get to go to any Goodwills today or anything like I mentioned. But we do get to go. My brother gave me a phone call and said that he found a bag in his garage full of video game stuff. Um, he said he had systems, he said he had games. Um, we're really excited where it's kind of late for us. We normally go to bed pretty early. We're going to probably be done with tonight like at 1 in the morning. But um, we're excited. So we're heading there right now. Stopping off with our usual Mexican pizza. The second best thing to video games, as we say. So, alright. That's it. Ricky, say hi. Hi. That was Ricky. Oh. Hi. I don't know where my brother lives. This is a new house. There he oh, is. Oh, there he is. Where should I park? Pull around. All right. Thank you. We found <laughs> it. So I was planning on showing my brother and introducing him to you guys to thank him for all the video games I got. But this smart guy right here forgot to press record. Sorry. Super Nintendo with three controllers. This is amazing. This is only the beginning. Hey, is that the special edition Super Nintendo, the yellow one? Yes. That's <laughs> the really dirty. <laughs> it's that yellow one. Okay, I have about... So after digging through this bag and realizing there was over 13 games in here, my brother informed me that he had another full duffel bag in his garage. Let's go to your garage. Okay. <laughs> you got a lot of stuff in here, man. All I care about is if there's video games in here. Sorry. Oh, it's warm in here, dude. Yeah, it's really warm. It's warm. It's, warm. it's probably warm from all the fuel. Should we look at it? Wait, that thing's full? That's full of some games. Holy smokes! Those are the better games, though. Um, okay, where should we go with this? Wherever you want. Should we go back in the house? Sure. Alright, let's go in the house. You're acting like this is nothing. I, I haven't touched these games in ages, so I'm like... Hey. Another 64. Freaking amazing. Super Mario. See, that's another one I picked up for fifty cents. How are these fifty cents? What, what, what place is it? It was like a little uh, make a lot of thrift shop. Oh my! Are you kidding me? That was actually one I was gonna keep, but I'm like, eh, go ahead. This is not a random game. Is it? This is a great game. I got, I just Ricky and I dug through that bag for about twenty minutes. We couldn't handle the pressure. There was too many good games. We went into a state of shock and passed out. Hello guys. Hello. Aaron here. And Ricky. Good to see you guys again. I hope you guys enjoyed that episode. Um, we're sorry, but we have to go fast again. I got so much stuff, it's ridiculous. It's like a duffel bag of stuff. Yeah, I gotta go fast. I'll show you my swap meet stuff first. Um, I got a no labeler, is what we're gonna start calling it, so we'll just go with it. We don't want to hone in on the Retro Hunters too much. We love them. Um, Starflight for the Genesis, pretty awesome. Batman Forever, I don't like it too much for the Genesis. Journey to Silius, I will talk about that. I love this game. It's kind of like Mega Man. It has some of the most amazing soundtracks I've ever heard on an NES game. Highly, highly recommend it, you guys. Um, have not played this. Short Order and Egg Explode. Have heard a lot about it, though. Good things and bad things. I'm gonna try it out. I'm excited. And I don't know if I'm saying this right. Katamari Damase. Um, crazy game, wild game. I haven't played it for a really long time, so I'm excited to go back into it. And God, I'm talking fast right now. I have to. I'm sorry. You'll see why in a minute. 
Go ahead, Ricky. And I got this U Draw tablet for the 360. I actually you. thought it was fake. U Draw. Pretty sweet. Yeah. All right. I'll jump right into these Sega games. I got Mrs. Pac Man, VR Troopers, Garfield, Caught in the Act. Sorry, this one's upside down. Pac Man 2 and New Adventures. <laughs> and of course, this awesome Mutant League Football. Great game. Fun game. Not rare, but I think it's like 15, Fun. 20 bucks, but you got it for a buck, so. One dollar. One dollar. Aladdin for the SNES. Prince Ali, fabulous he, Ali and mom. What? Perfect dark. <laughs> and then we got a new labeler. No labeler. Another no labeler, which we're going to try out later, you guys, on another episode because we'll tell you later. Out of time. You'll trust me on that. Then, if you guys haven't, you guys should all get the new Nintendo Power. Last one. Moment of silence. Okay. We'll see you in heaven, Nintendo Power. And then just random GameCube controller. That's it? That's it, man. Okay, I normally would show a picture of all these you guys, but I have to go through this really fast because the video is going to go way too long. Um, Super Nintendo Mini. Super Nintendo. Super Nintendo Mini. <laughs> GameCube with the adapter for Game Boy with Donkey Kong Country in it. Nintendo 64. By the way, all these have all the hookups. The, I think it's the second called the Sega Genesis 2, or I don't know the mini. I'm sorry, I don't know the real name. Um, I got this. Yep. I got the special yellow Super Nintendo. Um, all Thanks. these, by the way, you guys, I don't know if I mentioned um, in the video, they were all free from my brother and my friends Daniel and David. Um, they gave them all to me, so for free, for nothing, just because they wanted to support the show. And that was amazing of them. I really thank them for that. Um, okay. Thank you, Red Little Strangers. Yes, the Relative Strangers is their band name. I would check them out. I was in that band before, so you might be able to find pictures of me rocking out. So, check them out. Um, okay, I'm going to go through these fast, you guys. I'm sorry. And some of them are really good, but I'm still just going to blaze through them. I don't want to talk about them too long. Mario Paints. I probably won't even show them all. Super Mario Kart. Super Mario World. Winter Olympic Games. Goof Troop, which is amazing. Super Scope 6. We'll get the gun later. Yes. No label on this, but it is Super Mario RPG. Amazing. Ken Griffey's Winning Run. I do love that game. Another Super Mario World. Another Super Mario World. Mario is Missing. Pretty fun. Um, a game you guys might have heard of. The Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past. One of the greatest games ever, I would say. Scooby-Doo Mystery. Never played it. I don't really care to, to be honest. But I never will. Yeah. Wheel of Fortune. If Vanna White's in it, I'm in. <laughs> Troy Aikman Football. Super Metroid with no label. It's a good game. Amazing, amazing game. Super Star Wars, amazing game. Street Fighter 2 Turbo, amazing Ooh. game. Donkey Kong Country, amazing game. Donkey Kong Country, amazing game. <laughs> I'm saying amazing a lot. Um, Super Double Dragon, awesome that game. Is... So much fun. Yeah. Me and Ricky just played that the other day together. We were having a blast with it. Playing as Bimmy and Jimmy. Um, PGA Tour Golf, never played it. Royal Rumble, have played it. Fun. Pretty awesome. Uh, Frank Thomas Big Hurt, never played it. Didn't play baseball games too much except for on NES, so I'm not sure. Another Mario Kart? Yep, you had two. This is crazy. Pilot Wings, freaking awesome. I never thought I'd care about aviation in the game, but that was really fun. Um, NFL Quarterback Club 96. Uh, super High Impact, I have played this, don't remember too much about it. It was fun. I think so. Oh, great. Super game. Punch Out. Awesome. I'm the master at this. Ricky can vouch for it. He really is. I literally can think I'd be every character probably in under 10 seconds, and I'm not joking. So. Bob, Charlie. Yeah, challenge me to it. Pac Man 2, The New Adventures. Uh, WrestleMania, the arcade game. This is fun. That is pretty fun. Game Genie for the Super Nintendo. Good. Super C for NES. Always I, awesome. I, you know, I'm sorry, you guys, I can't talk about these more because of the time, but these are all so amazing. Um, Madden Football 64, obviously. 64. I'm all trying to see what it was. Um, Perfect Dark, like Ricky just got. Um, come on, guys. The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. All these were free. And I saved this one for last because I think it's the best one I got. Um, you guys have heard of it. Chrono Trigger. Can't yeah, used to be mine. This was Ricky's back in the day. Ricky <laughs> sold it to my brother Adam when he was young, you know, as we all did when we were little and sold our games not knowing what it would be now. And um, Adam gave it to me, so I feel bad for Ricky. You want it back? 
Dude! Got it. Uh, okay, um, that's it. We're trying not to take too long because yeah. um, we don't want to take too long. But um, one thing I want to say, you guys, please keep liking, commenting. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. Subscribe. Help support the show. We do put a lot of time and effort into this, and it might not seem like it, but we really do. We have to go every weekend, but we get to. <laughs> we, act, we tell our wives that we have to. But we yes. get to go to the swap meets every weekend. Um, it's awesome. We, you know, it costs money. It's the time. I literally do when I go to bed, you guys. I stay up for like four hours and I'm editing these videos, putting them together. So if you guys subscribe and support the show, it'd be awesome. We love doing it, though. Don't think I'm yeah. rolling over it mad. I'm having the time of my life doing it. So, And every time I see the subscribers go up, I see it, you guys. I notice when you do. So if someone subscribed right now, boom, you just clicked. I notice. Trust me. I check my phone like every five minutes and I'm thankful for it. I'm talking so fast. I haven't even taken Thank a breath you. in a while. Yeah. But that's it, you guys. Um, Till next time. Sega. Sega. Is that it? guys, what's up? I am by myself right now. I think I'm meeting up with Ricky tonight to uh, maybe do some Craigslist findings or something like that. He said he saw some stuff last night he wanted to pick up. So um, we'll see if we get, if I get anything right now at Goodwill. I haven't been getting any luck lately. It is the Christmas season, guys. It is almost here. Goodwill. 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 Thank you. So I would just like to thank the guy that was standing next to me at Goodwill the whole time with a boombox blaring extremely loud music. Sorry you couldn't hear any audio, guys. I just turned it down. Here's me looking at some stuff. Yippee skippy. All right, so I just left Goodwill, and um, I got me two games for the Genesis. Um, one that I got was in a black box with nothing on it, and I opened it up, and it was Mortal Kombat 2. That's Ricky calling, let's see who wants. Ricky, what's up? Uh, no, there was no cables with or anything, but I did get the Mortal Kombat 2 and that Bulls vs. Alright, two games at one Goodwill. So far, so good. Let's try the next one. Okay, I'm at another Goodwill that I've never been to, so go ahead, lady. Um, so we'll see how it goes. Hopefully I have some footage. Probably gonna find stadium events. Probably. Just so you know. I think that was the only time I went to a Goodwill in my entire life where I saw absolutely zero video games. Let's see. <laughs> I said Kingdom of Hearts for PlayStation 2. Scratched, disc only, for $27.99. Yep. Now I am at a place called Saddleback Thrift Shop. Let us try. Okay, I'm not here for VHS tapes, even though these are pretty awesome. I can't wait. Come on, Ricky. Let's go. Um, we are on our way to some more Goodwills right now. Actually, we just got here. It's kind of late, but actually, we always say it's late when it's like 8 o'clock. We're old. Um, yeah. 
We were going to go get some Craigslist stuff today, but it, um, all the people live a lot further than we thought. So, more Goodwills. This is a lot of Goodwills in this episode. Hooray! We'll see. Look at all them sports. That's okay, I just found this in the CDs. Hooray! I'm kind of excited, I don't know why. Ninety-nine cents. Ricky, I'm putting you on the spot right now in front of everyone. You better be able to go to the swap meet this weekend. <laughs> You're gonna let everybody down if you don't go. You want me to just straight out ask like two forty-five? Hi, I was just calling about the uh, virtual boy for sale. Oh yeah. You don't need to hear us ramble on. We didn't get it. Ah heck, we're going to the swap meet. PlayStation. <laughs> wow. Okay. That one. You just got one. Right. Yes. Yeah. Wait. Who knows the price? Of how much are? How much are the games? Two dollars. Two dollars. Two dollars. Two dollars. Two dollars. Two dollars. I have no idea. I've never had a chance to check this out. I just like just a box. It's not well, for ten bucks with Battle Clash, I don't have Battle no, Clash. No, Battle Clash. Oh, sweet. Well, I will take it. Hey, Chris. All right, so we just left Cyprus, and we did uh, pretty well for ourselves. Um, we got some good stuff. A couple games for a buck. I got a super scope, which I'm stoked about. Um, we're headed over to... Where are we going? OCC. OCC. I don't know if you can see back there. We got our buddy Chris with us today. He's helping film. So, um, yeah, let's see how it goes. Whoa! Oh, yeah. the it's cool, art of fighting, two bucks, it's a good game. Oh. Always Joe one vintage video game geek. After that guy said yelling. Vintage video game geek talks about this a lot, so I think I might pick it up just for that reason. Are you kidding me? Did I just find my second Miracle Piano? Yes, I did. Hey, Mike. Yeah. Hey, Ricky. What? what are you guys doing? We got just another one? Up some stuff. How are you guys? I can't believe you got another one. Hello. Hey, hey, this is Mike, by the way, a good buddy of ours. He, uh, name's Mike. He's a collector and a reseller, but a very cool reseller. Mike'sClassics.com, by the way. He's a very good guy. And I'm here with another Miracle Piano. My Your third one. Third one. And uh, we've seen a total of four now, so this is... This is crazy! Out of four, three by. Yeah. So that's it for the day, guys. We um, met up with a lot, uh, Mike today. That was fun. And um, we're going home now. I just dropped off Ricky. I'm still here with Chris. Um, just dropped him off, and uh, I'm heading home now. So, time for the pickup video. Merry Christmas, guys. Happy holidays. Happy Kwanzaa, Hanukkah, whatever you celebrate, we hope. You're having a good one. Merry Christmas, yeah. Ricky. Merry Christmas, Ricky. Um, we had a good video. We got, um, well, hopefully it was a good video. I hope you guys liked it. Went to some Goodwills, swap meets, a couple swap meets, so. You got some good stuff. Yeah, I'm excited to show you guys. Actually, you might have seen most of it already, but <laughs> we'll see. Um, Ricky? Let me start off. Do the honors. All right, cool. First off, start off with swap meet time. I got this yellow Game Boy Color. It was actually for, uh... Kingsley. Kingsley, fellow YouTuber who sent me Contra. Yeah, he's the one who sent us Contra Hardcore, so we are Thank returning you. the favor. We know he wanted the yellow Game Boy, so we're going to send it back to him. Sweet. And then, plus with the Game Boy, I 
I got this sweet thing as a freebie. Kirby's Nightmare Dreamlight. Yes, I have never played that. I don't know. Kirby's Nightmare Dreamlight. I'm not gonna lie, never played it. I do I like Kirby games. games. I love Kirby games. And then I got Fatal Fury for the Genesis. Awesome game. One of the best characters, Terry, Andy. Terry. I love those two games. Those games are awesome. Yeah, Fatal Fury's a good, good series. It's like an SNK series. I don't know. All I joined later. SNK fighting games are rad. Dude. So. And then another Wavebird controller. Hey, those are good. They're, yeah. You got it for a couple bucks. Two bucks? Yeah, it I was not, not bad. I think they're like 10, 15 bucks or something. I might be wrong. Something like that. Yeah. So, good deal. And then my last thing, I didn't get too much this time, but Star Fox 64. The best, to me, the best Star Fox. I think ever. most everyone would agree with you that's the best Star awesome. Fox. Oh. Do a barrel roll! Yeah, dude. The uh, best. Yeah, if you guys have heard, I know, uh, Gamester81, which, by the way, you guys, we are on Gamester81.com now, so please check us out on there. We are so honored and stoked and happy yeah, about to awesome. be on there. Thanks. So, um, yeah, thank you, John. Um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, Gamester put out a thing about Star Fox 2, which was never released for the SNES, and now you can get copies of it and stuff like that, so I want to try to get my hands on that. I know someone who I think can get it for us, so that'd be cool if we could do that. That would be awesome. Yeah. Okay, for me, I don't know what order, I'm just grabbing whatever. I did get Mutant League Football. I think I got it for $2, which Ricky got last week for a buck, so he he wins. But uh, this game's cool. We're, we're stoked. Yeah, Dude. we saw it's like a $15 great game. Dollar, $10 game. Um, Art of Fighting, which is pretty fun. It's SNK also. I haven't yeah. played it for a long time, so I don't know. We'll see. It's been a long time. Great game. Yeah. Ooh, Arch Rivals for the NES. If you guys haven't played this, it kind of reminds me of Base Wars for NES, which is baseball, but this is basketball, where you are very much encouraged to punch and beat up the other players. And funny enough, the guy on the cover looks like Dennis Rodman, so I don't know if they're making a hint that he likes to hit people. And I think he kicked the guy in the crotch one time, right? Dennis Rodman? I think he did. The only basketball player I knew was like those, like Bill Beer. If I find it, I'm going to put footage of it. <laughs> okay. Kiss Pinball, which I was excited when I saw it because it was 99 cents and I thought it'd be... I thought it was good, or I thought I remembered it being good or something, but, um, I played it. It's not good. It <laughs> sucks. I was bored really fast, but, um... But it's Kiss. But it's... Ah! We got nothing against baseball. you, Gene Simmons. Nothing against you. But, uh, Air Combat. I haven't played this for a really, really long time, so I don't remember. Um, it was 99 cents also, and the disc was in good condition along with the manual, so... A lot of times if things are that cheap, I'll pick them up, you know. Why not? A buck? Yeah. Um, a buck for this. Mortal Kombat 2. Come here! <laughs> but, um, this was 99 cents also. It was in the, a black box, and it was one of those, like, computer store type of Goodwills. So they priced everything out accordingly, and when I took it to the front, the guy that worked there opened it up, and he seemed to be, like, pretty upset that Mortal Kombat 2 was in there for 99 cents. So, I don't know. But I said <laughs> you shouldn't have priced it at 99 cents, though. Um, Bulls vs. Blazers for the Genesis. Um, also 99 cents. It does have the number to get a clue and hints <laughs> on hot, this hotline. 1-900-288-HINT. I'm sure it doesn't hurt if I give out the number because I doubt it's still working. <laughs> Be careful. Children under 18, don't call because I don't know what kind of phone number it is now. Um, okay. Two last things for me. Really excited about this. Really, really... Oh, wait, you know what? One more. What? I did get, um... Who was it? Joe Montana. Joe Montana's Sports Talk Football. I watched um, Vintage Video Game Geek's Christmas special. I think it was in 2010. And uh, actually, it wasn't his Christmas special. It was, it was his Genesis review. He was talking about that game a lot, so when I saw it, I picked it up. I figured uh, it won't hurt. I'm taking your word for it, Vintage. Um, Super Scope 6 in the Man. box. With It came with Battle Clash 2. I left it at my house. Sorry, Battle Clash. Um, taped on the box. Super Scope 6 is in here, the manuals are in here, the plastic's in here, the styrofoam's in here, it's 100% complete. Um, the guy said he didn't know if it works, it does work. Um, I'm very excited about this, not only, I think I might have paid 10 bucks just for the box, honestly, because it is a cool display. Um, it was 10 bucks, but he would. Yeah. Um, one thing we're going to do too is we're going to try to build a room completely for our video games soon. So, um, We'll see if we can get that done. It's going to cost a lot of money and take a lot of time, and it's kind of hard with yeah. our weekends because we want to go to the swap meet when we have free time. Yeah. So we'll see if we can juggle it. 
Okay, last thing I got, you guys did see in the video, and I don't even know how this has happened, honestly. Um, we got another Miracle Piano. I, I, it's insane at this point. I know most people have never seen one in their lives. I know collectors, resellers who have never seen one in their lives. Um, the Game Chasers have seen just one. Um, we're pretty happy we've seen four, bought a total of three. <laughs> so we don't know what to say about that, but it's, it's pretty exciting. Yeah, it's a miracle. A miracle on 34th Street. Merry Christmas. Ho, 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 ho. Um, that's it. Right, Ricky? I think so. Merry Christmas again. Um, Merry Christmas again. Thank you guys again for all the love and support we've been showing. I know I say this every time, but I feel like I should because every week that goes by, we're getting a lot of subscribers. And, um, yeah. Thanks. We're very thankful. So keep liking. Um, it helps. Um, keep commenting. That really helps. A lot of you guys do comment. It surprises me how many of you guys comment. And I don't really get a lot of negative things said. I have only think I've had like one negative comment since, since we've been doing this. So it just shows that the people that are subscribing are really cool people. So yeah. but, uh, we're thankful for that. And uh, if you haven't subscribed, please do. And, uh, keep us motivated to keep this show on the road. It's yes. fun. But... I think that's it. Merry Christmas. Ho, ho, ho. And Happy New Year! <laughs>
it in there first. Oh. They all won. Oh. They all, maybe he carries them. No, I doubt it. Okay, oh. maybe he carries them. Oh, he's got to carry him. Oh, maybe was, not. No, he only has one disc. Did you find you? <laughs> Ooh, the suffering box. Right. Box like box game crash. Nice. Amateur. How much are your PlayStation again? Yeah. Or one of them. Super 3? Let's do that. What do you got? Gyrus. Mmm. It is sweet. It's very sweet, actually. Got two for five, but I can't find another Nintendo game in here. There's this. Take a master system. Would you take two for five on these? I can't find another Nintendo game I want, but yeah. some guy just tried to sell us three old crappy Nintendo games for 40 bucks. And um, he wanted 10 for a loose copy of Sonic the Hedgehog. Ooh, that's a good deal. Shut up. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Let me get a closer look. Sweet. Dude, Super Nintendo. Yeah. Five bucks? Yeah. Aaron, you're so nice for getting me this. Uh, yeah. After I let you get the Sega Master System controller. So I'm having a good day, Ricky. Are you? Yeah. It's okay. I'm doing pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. Pretty much getting everything I wanted. Dave Hester's here from uh, Storage Wars. I don't know if a lot of people like him or not. Maybe I'll try to get him to say our name. Yeah, I totally forgot to ask him because I stepped in this pile of barf. Dick Tracy, Platoon. RBI Baseball. 1942, a sweet Capcom game, which everybody loves. I saw a Jordan vs. Bird Pro Wrestling I already have. Ricky over here has what? Mighty Bomb Jack and a Game Genie in hand. So we're finding some good deals on stuff, but it seems like all the original NES games people are trying to sell is for like 10, 15 bucks each. For a random one. Yeah, we're not, not just we're not talking about, you know, rare games, Little Samson or Snow Brothers. We're talking about freaking Mario ice and ice hockey. Yeah, we'll see. I don't know. We started getting That's pretty sweet. That is a really good game. Rush boxed? Yeah, I I love Rush too. Golden So the vendor that was selling these boxed Nintendo 64 games wanted us to pay $15 each. Ricky and I were able to talk them down to seven dollars each. Oh yeah. Okay, we're gonna need these. There's the controllers right there. You hey guys, I don't know how much longer I'm gonna film this because I want to look through all this. That's a good one. So Ricky did just get quite a few Atari games, which is pretty cool. Um, I picked up Pitfall also, which I do love. Just last night, I was lost in the jungle with Pitfall Harry, surrounded by giant scorpions and man-eating crocodiles. And look what I got for free, show them right It's just the box, but honest that box is in good condition. Awesome wow, condition. Ooh, Ricky, you aren't supposed to park here. What would you say your favorite Genesis game was? Hmm. Probably Golden Axe, actually. It's really, I couldn't decide between that and uh, Altered Beast. Altered Beast is good. I'd say... Probably Strider. Or... Um, Gunstar Heroes. Nice. I remember I liked Vector Man a lot when I was... Wow, that guy almost got hit by a car. I liked Vector Man a lot when I was... Yeah. Well, good one, Aaron. I had some really good footage of us buying a 32X that night. But yep, like an idiot, I just now deleted it. And I can't get it back for anything. On the good side... 
Me and Ricky finally got footage of us finding out what our no-labeled games was. We've been waiting to play them, guys. So here it is. Hello, everybody. Hello. This is going to be our first playing of what we called No Labelers. No Labelers. Yes, but we did ask you guys to put in the comments for some suggestions on what to call them because we didn't know. I know Mystery Cart is what the Retro Hunters call them and probably everybody calls them. Yeah. But we don't want to copy them just because we don't We don't have their blessing. But, um, so a bunch of you guys left comments, actually quite a few of you, maybe like 20 people, so we put them in a bag and just pull one out so we didn't have to pick or, you know, pick yeah. favorites. And then we pulled out Faceless Games, so which we think sounds kind of cool, you know, if we pull one up, oh, there's another Faceless Game, so, um... No face. Yeah, we're excited. It was, um, a guy named Kid Shoryuken, which, um, I've seen him comment quite a bit, so that's cool, you know, somebody that watches the show, um, nice. won, technically, I don't know, I don't know if you're happy <laughs> about that, but cool, thank you for the comment, and, Yeah, um, thanks, guys. And stupidly enough, we forgot our Nintendo 64 controllers at Ricky's house. We have them all hung up on the back display, <laughs> and we were playing there last time, and we forgot to bring them over, so... Whoops. Whoops, you'll just see the screen, though, at least so we can find out what it is. So, we'll find here out. Here we go, first faceless game. <laughs> hey! Oh, nice! Oh. And, like we said, no controller. That is pretty big fail on our part. <laughs> So as you guys saw, Star Fox 64, stupid fail on our part with having no controller. That was dumb. But awesome news. Yes, awesome news a buck. And now for our Genesis faceless game. Ah, I just forgot. It's Contra. Contra Hardcore? Let's take a guess. You say Contra Hardcore? I highly doubt it. I'm going <laughs> I'm going Sonic or a football game. Joe Mon it could be Joe Montana. Okay, let's try. Uh Oh. oh! What is it, Sega? Hey! X-Men! X-Men? Look at them characters! Dude, they're cute. I love the fact that they still have Gambit back then. Look at him with his helmet. Sometimes. Sometimes you have to crush your enemies. I don't think he talks like that. <laughs> ah! I'm pressing start. Um, what level? What else would I be? I'm a superhero, dude. Come on. Select really hero? You can't even tell who they are! Cyclops, Wolverine, uh... Oh, the Gambit's over there. And that was Nightcrawl right there. Uh... I think. No buttons are doing anything. Hey, use the boost to get through. Use the boost to get through! Use the boost to get through! It. Um... Dude, what the... So, the left button on my controller isn't working. <laughs> wow. Da, 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 da. Wow, down doesn't even work unless you can't jump. Well, that was great. Well, all we needed to see was what it was. Yay. And this is what you guys get. X-Men. Hooray! Well, that was our first attempt at our faceless games, but my god, we screwed up. <laughs> we didn't have a controller for the 64, and then the controller we had for the Genesis wasn't even working. The left button didn't work. This Whatever. Concludes. This concludes. Faceless, faceless games. Uh, that really sucked and everything. Put, yeah, we put a face on the faceless. Hey! How's that? Heidi ho neighborinos. Well, hello. I don't know why, I was just looking down. Um, hope you guys have a good Christmas, and hope you guys have a good New Year's coming up, and I hope you guys are safe. Don't drink and drive, and if you're under the age, don't drink anyways. <laughs> I don't care what you do. Um, Ricky, go ahead and start off. All right, so start off with Atari. Got me some paddles. Paddles for my Atari. Wow, that was high. <laughs> yeah, it was. Then I got Raiders of the Lost Ark and Superman. Super. How oh, super to see you. Wow. wow. Toss my ground. Seriously. All right, and for my Game Boy, I got the Game Boy for the four-player adapter and the, what is it, the battery pack. Yeah. Missing some pieces, but you play plugged in. Yeah. But hey. Free with the purchase of. Where did my game go? Oh. Sorry, guys. Box Shadows of the Empire. That's awesome. Great game, too. Great game. And it was seven bucks. Complete box. Good job. And then let's jump off to PlayStation 2. Where I got Final Fantasy 12. Only the bonus disc in there, but. Sweet case. There's a buck for that case. It's cool. Yeah. Then Twisted Metal Black. Which is a. Awesome I think game. my favorite Twisted Metal. Yeah. 
And then I cannot, I can never turn down anything with Street Fighter characters on it. So, Capcom Fighting Evolution. Awesome. I have to burp. I won't. And, actually, probably the funnest game. A real fun game. Metroid 2 for the Game Boy. Yeah, if you haven't played it, and you love Metroid, yeah, awesome. Even if you don't love Metroid, try it out. Fun. It was fun. Then I got a joystick. I mean, <laughs> Nintendo joystick. with a little like joystick thing. Yeah, a little analog. That's cool for NES controller. One of the super controllers. I think it's cool. Yeah. And then, back there. Christmas wise, Aaron got me some Shinobi for the Master System and Shinobi for the Genesis. Both fun games. Fun games. Shinobi. Shinobi. And my brother for Christmas got me Resident Evil 6. Awesome. Thanks, Art. Yeah, haven't tried it yet. I'm ready. Is that it? That's it for me. Okay, for me, I will start out Pitfall for the Atari, my favorite Pitfall of all time. And I mean that. Double Dragon, pretty amazing for the NES. Yeah. I'm sure you guys all know everything about it. Pinball Quest for the NES. Amazing pinball game. Better than crappy Kiss Pinball. <laughs> you could have like RPG modes in this. There's like circus modes. RPG was the best mode by a long shot, I think. Try it out if you guys haven't. I didn't know anything about it when I bought it. Gyrus for the NES. It is freaking awesome that did shooter cool. game. You guys need to try it. I put a little gameplay footage in the episode, so if you haven't tried it, please do. Try Gyrus. Where's mine? Ah, uh, here we go. A trade, or not a trade, uh, from a guy on Craigslist. A cool guy, by the way. Uh, 32X. Very cool. I'm very excited to play this. I haven't played it since nice. I was a kid. So I'm, I'm very, I've been wanting this for a while. And then some games I got with it. Where that went. I got Virtua Fighter, fun game. Star Wars, haven't tried it, looks very fun. And I have not tried Metalhead either. So Metalhead, I don't know if it's like a mech warrior type of game or if you're uh, someone who listens to a lot of metal music. Probably not. Doom, complete in box. Pretty freaking awesome. That is an awesome yeah, game. Yeah, I'm excited for this. I have played this as a kid, but I'm just, I'm, rad. I'm stoked I got it in the box. The Suffering, haven't played it, Ricky. Awesome game. Ricky told me it was good, so he better not be lying or he's gonna be suffering. Reminds me of Gears of War. Awesome. Then you can't go wrong. Now this is awesome, you guys. Donkey Kong Country 2, um, did a trade with my buddy, uh, CJ from Retro Hungry, as I talk about a lot, and um, amazing game, amazing music, so just, I'm super stoked to have it in the box. Um, GoldenEye 007, this is where it all started, <laughs> you Call of Duty people out there. Don't worry, I got nothing against Call of Duty. And just to prove it, I have a my clan tag from a couple years ago, right there, USA <laughs> in the brackets. That's my clan tag tattooed on my arm. If that is true. It. So we were hardcore into Call of Duty for a while, so but this is kind of where it all started. So, golden eye. Okay, factory sealed Chrono Trigger, not a big deal. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Super play action football, kind of cruddy game, but factory sealed for three bucks. I'm not gonna complain. It's cool. It's just cool to know that it's never been opened. You know, it's been around for so long and never opened. Um, okay, Sega Master System controller. I only had one. Now I have two. I got a Game Boy box. Really good condition. For free. Dude <laughs> gave it to me. I said, hey, how much for this? And he said, you can have it. And I said, okay. And I walked away. So. That was pretty cool. Yeah, that's good display. Ah! How unprofessional. Road Rash. Long box. Very cool. Game didn't hold up too well. Um, as of what do I remember it being. But, um... It is uh, still pretty awesome. I think everybody loves Road Rash or did. So, last thing for me that I'm going to show is my Fighter Stick SN for Super Nintendo, which it was. It has you know warp damage from the sun and water, but when I opened it, it was never taken out. Um, there, everything was like with the factory seals on them. The wrapping and everything was like has never been opened. So, um, and I played it and it was really fun. We played some Kirby games with it and stuff, but uh, the buttons are a little clicky. But it's good. It works really. I, yeah, good. Yeah, I'm really happy about it. Wow, I don't know why I'm breathing fast. <laughs> I think that's it, you guys. Um, have a good New Year's. Be safe. We don't want to lose a subscriber to death, so um, that would suck. Um, before Ricky does, I want you to say it. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I think we're both thinking the same thing. <laughs>
Right, I'm at Ricky's house. Coming to say hi to him. See what he's doing tonight. Whoa. I can't even look at him. Put that thing on your face. Yes. Okay, so as you guys saw in the last episode, um, some of you guys don't know is I've been wanting a virtual boy for a long time. Don't move that thing around. You stay still. Um, I've been wanting one for a long time, and I go over to Ricky's house one night. Well, first of all, he didn't take a camera with him when he when the place he went. But I come to his house, and he, he has a virtual boy. And he didn't tell me. He didn't call me. He didn't let me know he got it. I just was walked into the house, and there it was. So I get mad at him, and he tells me like it was no big deal. Like he just went to this guy's house, and basically the guy just threw him a virtual boy. Like he wasn't trying to get it or searching one out on Craigslist, but pretty upset. Um, I'm going to get him back. I'm going to get something he get back in there. I'm gonna get something that he's been wanting for a long time. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna say a Saturn or a Turbo Graphics 16. Hey, we should have them by now, really, if you think about it. Oh, virtual slap. Good morning, guys. Hello. We're here at the Chino Hill Swap Meet again. Yeah, we are. Sorry, texting. Uh, it was super foggy a while ago. Dude, I'm talking yeah. like scary driving foggy. I could probably see five feet from my car. We're driving like 15 miles an hour on the highway. Like, oh, yeah, oh, it oh. took us a while to get here. They're about to open in five minutes, so we'll head out. We ran over uh, two skunks. And, um, or no, they were already dead, but our car stunk for like 10 minutes. Dude, two in one. I've never seen that before. Yeah, they were probably mating. And they died <laughs> while making love. Good way to go. Okay, so we just walked around the entire SWAT meet and saw zero retro games. So we're going to try again. I think it was uh, too early. Yeah. It was a little rainy last night. Um, so maybe everyone wasn't thinking to be dry. But it is. So we'll see. We're going to go around again. So we found squat. Nothing. Nothing. We drove out here kind of far for us and found nothing. <sighs> we walked through the SWAT meet like three times too kind of pissing us off. Good thing we have a little time, so we're going to go to another swap meet. But, um, yeah, until then, we're kind of angry. We're kind of mad. Not even resellers. Not even resellers. We're going to stop doing our videos. This is the last video. Just kidding. Ricky, we going to get some better luck at this swap meet? Heck yeah. Rick, Ricky asked me if I want to go in that men's shower and locker room with him. I told him yeah, but later. You got Ricky. Ooh, triple strike. Winner challenge. Virtual pinball. Try that final zone. Do you have arch rivals on the Genesis? No, I don't. Cool. Faceless game. How much for the one with no label? Two bucks? How about the rest of them? Three bucks? Alright, I might pick up a few. This guy's sweet Atari stuff. Way overpriced. But, a lot of cool stuff in here. Haunted House is actually pretty awesome. So is River Raid. River Raid. A lot of faceless games too. But uh, he's only selling them as a big set. So, pretty sweet. I just wanted to show you guys. Oh, I do have that plug. Star Wars Episode One Racer is really cool, and Turok 2, which I think is pretty underrated. But uh, I don't know. I don't know if she wants to work with me a little. Try it. I'll try. Sports, sports, fun itself. Sports, 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 sports. Look what I found. You. Dude. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Some beauties right there. That is in great condition, that box right there. 
Toys R Us has the Nintendo Action Set. It comes with Control Deck, two game controllers, Zapper Light Gun, and Double Game Pack. All for just $99.99. Alright, Aaron. What'd you get? Fantasy Star 3. Ricky got this. I picked up Last Battle. He actually let us buy this and get this for free. This is really fun. The Continue Show did a thing on this, like I said. I hope it's Brady and we're wrong. Oh! Pretty excited. Actually, I'm really excited. I'm not gonna lie. There's some more games. Yo ho! So only Sega stuff so far. Um, we kind of had a disappointing day overall, from yeah. how we normally do. We saw some cool things like that box Nintendo, but it was a little expensive. But um, we're actually gonna go to a store right now. I got a gift certificate from uh, my sister-in-law for a place called Fat Collectibles. Hopefully, they, cool. hopefully they let us film. Um, but we're gonna go there right now. So uh, we're gonna head over. Ha ho hi ho hi ha ho ha. Uh, we're going to let us film, so either you'll see us in our car in a minute, or you'll see us uh, filming. Let's see. Aw, oh, this is great. I got some really good footage of me getting two games. When I got in the car, I was really excited to see it. I said, hey, Ricky, let me see the footage you got. Here's what Ricky showed me. That's it? That's all you recorded? Do you have any idea how mad this makes me? I'm just kidding. Let's go to another swap meet. That's a good game, Paul. Oh, I do remember this game. Didn't Adam have it? Yeah. Diddy Kong Racing. This is awesome. Not a lot of people love it. Actually, I don't know. I feel like lately a lot of people have been talking about it more. Booklets, Super Smash, and a couple bullets. Crazy Goodest Hits. This Pilot Wings, I do need that one. I do need Winter Olympic Games. Star Fox 64. Be careful, it's a trap! Star Fox. Check it out, it's Japanese version of Wave Race. Oh wow, dude, I haven't seen that. Wait, the glare's on it. That's pretty cool, man. I haven't seen that. I don't have those, you guys, otherwise I would get them. Two, three, four, five. Alright, I got five of the games I do need them for. And this one? Oh my gosh, that is hilarious. <laughs> Cliffhanger! That clip's not gonna hold! Alright, our day is over. It was a long day. Did we do good? I think we did. We did alright. It yeah. started off a little rough. It's done a lot better now, but we're tired. It's been a long day. We woke up at like 5 a.m. and now it's 1 or 2? Whatever. One. Who cares? Alright, well, we'll see what we do next. I don't know if we'll show a pickup video now or if we got something else up our sleeve. We'll see. Well, goodbye. Yeah. Hi guys! What's up? How are you? I just looked at the microphone because I don't know if it was pointing <laughs> correctly. Um, so the first thing we can show is something where he showed because Ricky went behind my back and stabbed me in the back. <laughs> show him what you got again, Ricky, an official showing. Uh, I like actually like the back. That looks kind of weird. Yeah, you got a virtual boy. I we had already, to. We already talked about it. Let's not even talk about it. Put that thing down. <laughs> but I hope you guys are having a good day. And um, let's just start out. Go ahead, Ricky, again. I'll, I like to let you go first. You do such a good job. I want you to always Thank lead you. these people Thank you. into our home. Into our home. This is Ricky's home. He's married. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so my first good one is going to be Final Zone. I... Have you played it? I haven't. I have watched a lot of YouTube videos on it after we got it because I wanted to find out about it. It looks okay. It's like a mecha shooter. I showed a little thing in the video, but... um. Doesn't look like too much my type, but I think it was like worth 15 bucks. So that kind of surprised me. I don't know anything about it, but if you got it. I'm a little jealous. This is Jungle Strike. <laughs> <laughs> the sequel to Desert Strike. Yeah, you go around and you, uh, in the game, you actually, you, your whole job is to uh, deplete the jungle as you kill the monkeys. No, you don't do that. Never kill monkeys. Monkeys are great. Yeah, DK, dude, and Diddy Kong. I just think monkeys, like chimpanzees, except when they like kill people and stuff in the news, that's scary. <laughs> And then, since I really didn't have a Genesis growing up, 
let the good times roll with some fantasy star three. Yeah, Ricky should be stoked. I do. I have played that game a lot. It was really fun. I was a huge fan of the first fantasy star on the master system. I think it was amazing. The sound and everything. So um, I'm excited to re-get into that one. I don't remember too much about it at all, actually. Yes, I love Fantasy Stars. Be the new ones too. Sweet. And then finally found a Super Game Boy affordable. Five bucks. Not bad. Yeah, those are awesome. Dude, I played Super Metroid 2 on this. I had amazing memories as a kid playing Link's Awakening. On tent, that? In my backyard, on that. <laughs> it was so much fun. Nice. And then, last but not least, a sealed copy of Super Star Wars. Yeah. Pretty cool. Very cool. <laughs> Freaking rad game. <laughs> In the seal. I think the guy used to work at like a video store because when we pulled up yeah. know, to his stand, yeah, he had a bunch. He had a couple of these. I just picked the one that looked the best. Yeah. That's rad. Is that it for you? That's it, dude. All right. All right, I'll start out with uh, whatever random is. I got uh, booklets, as you guys saw in the video. Donkey booklets. Kong, Star Fox, Star Fox original, and they used to talk like... Blah, 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 blah. Star Fox 64, Winter Olympic yes. Games, yes, I know the game's nothing, but I need the booklet. Pilot Wings, amazing game. <laughs> Putting it by your stuff, Ricky. It's okay. Last Battle, amazing. <laughs> Literally, I'm so excited to play this. I haven't played it since I got it. The one where your shirt, shirt rips off? Yeah, I showed it in a video where <laughs> the guy flexes and his shirt just blows up. <laughs> Same thing happens to me when I flex, I'm pretty yoked. But I can't do it right now because this is a size triple XL and I'm normally a double XL. Yeah. Yes. Okay, um, I got these from a buddy named uh, I Like Games123. He's a YouTuber, a cool guy. Name's Connor. Um, Connor. I bought them from him. It wasn't a trade or anything, but Alien Syndrome, which is fun. Um, yeah. I had fun playing. We played it the other day. Yeah, that one's fun. This one, me and Ricky had a lot of fun playing and we knew nothing about it. Quartet. Hey, it was weird. The jetpacks were pretty yeah, fun. Yeah, it was two players. It was really fun. I think. It was really uh, kiddish, but but fun kiddish. It wasn't cheesy. I don't know. I swear that first boss took forever to kill. Yeah, you guys <laughs> should try this quartet. I, I'm really excited about this. I honestly, guys, I don't remember what this is. And we played it. Miracle Warriors. <laughs> I don't that remember. Probably means it wasn't very good because I don't remember it. Uh, we just played it like a week ago. Well, we did play Shinobi right after it. Speaking of, which is great. If you guys haven't played Shinobi's, then you you're not a gamer. No, I'm just kidding. If you haven't played Shinobi, <laughs> then you just probably haven't played Shinobi. But you need to. Zaxxon 3D. The only problem was it was in 3D, so it hurt the crap out of my eyes when we put it in <laughs> trying to play it. And I didn't even know, I don't know if you can turn off the 3D mode. I didn't even try because it was hurting me just to look at the screen. <laughs> I literally just got a headache from looking at it because my brain, like, remembered this game. <laughs> okay, nice. I will show you guys this next. I got a faceless game, yay! Something I did want to say. If you guys do, I haven't even told Ricky yet, but if anybody has faceless games that you guys want or don't want or want to donate for us to play, I was thinking it'd be a good idea if you guys wanted to maybe send them to us so we could play them, see what they are, because I know a lot of people were saying they enjoyed the Faceless games. Um, just personal messages, and then if it's, um, you know, you guys want to do it, we'll send you uh, a P.O. box to send it to, so yeah, that'd be awesome. Cool. Arch Rivals for Genesis, which I have not played it for Genesis, but as I've said to you guys before, I did love the original Arch Rivals. This was from Blockbuster. Yes, it was. Rest in peace, Blockbuster. There may be some where you guys live, but where we live, they're gone. I think there's one out of, what, Dude, 20 that survived? There was nothing like being in a Blockbuster as a kid and seeing all the old cases and cartridges Man. and just reading the back and not being able to go on YouTube or the internet <laughs> to find out if the game was good. You just had to guess. Oh, plus they have all kinds of video games for the kids. You would that hope the game was good. I hope the game good. Hope the hope game was game good. good. Shut up. <laughs> Me hope game good. I like games. <laughs> okay, this game, guys. Awesome. Super R-Type. Amazing shoot -em up Shmup. Um, <laughs> amazing. But, I don't know if it's as good as the last thing I got. I got this complete in box, and I'm talking good condition. I would have yeah. showed you guys in the video, but this smart guy right here, you saw the footage of how good he did a recording. Um, it's tricky. Gradius or Gradius 3. Something nasty is going around, and the whole world... No, the whole universe is catching it. That's what it says in the back. This game's amazing, <laughs> you guys. Freaking, freaking awesome. If you guys haven't played this, probably one of the best shoot 'em ups on Super Nintendo. In a lot of people's opinion, maybe the best there is. Mm, I don't know. Um, that's it. 
That's all we got. I'm not going to slap you, dude. Don't worry. Um, I just made a Facebook. So please go on it, you guys. Like us. Um, I will put the link in the uh, description below. Um, what else do we got? Check us out on GameStreet81.com. Yeah. Um, if you guys haven't yet listened to episode 124 of the All Gen Gamers podcast, I was just on there. Ricky couldn't make it, but I had so much fun with uh, John from Game Street 81, Pete Dorr, Jason Heine, and Metal Jesus. Those guys are freaking awesome. I had such a fun time on it. And um, I think the other thing I want to say is... Yes! <laughs>